Welcome to Pink Radio with Prestige. This is the place for you, the diva boss entrepreneur who needs quick tips on building your crave worthy brand. This is your host, Nicole Doss, CEO of the Prestige Society, a membership organization for women entrepreneurs who believe in building powerful networks while slaying in their industries. So I want you to go ahead and grab your favorite cup of coffee and get your favorite tips right here with Prestige. Hey, 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 girl bosses, this is your girl, Nicole Doss, and we are talking all about how to stay focused in the midst of a crisis. Now, if you're anything like me, you are way too inundated with information about, you know, the ongoing impacts from the recent uh, coronavirus. So not for nothing, but I think when it first happened, And we started seeing this thing slowly kind of unravel in China. Um, That was probably during the time of our leadership conference. And so during that time, you know, our leader actually was our leadership retreat. So that's a little bit more intimate. It's just the uh, leadership uh, members of the pink uh, chapters, as well as my uh, female executive teammates. And um, we talked a lot about it. We joked a lot about it. And then we kind of like left it where it was and did not allow it to really um, impact our day to day. So the way we operated before was the way we operated then and probably a little bit after as well. But now daily, there's all this information out there. So, you know, whether you are being inundated with false news around or fake news around how you can make sure that you don't have the virus. So if any of you see the information saying that you should drink bleach to kill the virus, I just want to save y'all and let y'all know it will kill the virus and it will kill you too. Please do not drink bleach. But those are the kind of fake news um, things that are out there. My mom sent me um, this presentation deck that was supposedly from UNICEF. And the more I looked at it, the more I realized it was a Canva template. And so I'm not saying that organizations can't use Canva templates, but it did not have the UNICEF logo on there. Um, the origin of the template or the, the, desk, um, the, deck, the deck was not uh, saved on UNICEF's website. So it made me really question the validity of the information, not to mention the information was completely contradictory to all the other information we've received out there. So, you know, uh, when you think about some of the things that have been sent out there, it's just been a lot of fake news. It's been a lot of real news. It's been a lot of, um, underestimated news. And so, you can imagine how the state of the girl boss could be one that feels very unsettled. Um, And so some people have really kind of not been pushing their business. Some people has, have been just trying to deal with what life looks like, especially if schools have been closed. Kids are now home. Uh, If working from home, a hundred percent has been uh, the, the, the modus operandi that you've been experiencing. So really trying to figure out what your new normal is, has probably been something that has probably occupied a lot of your brain space and not things like how you can really work on your business. But I want to give you some goals to kind of, to look at. I want to give you some things you should really probably think about doing so that way you can make sure that you are grounded and that you can focus on some things that will allow you to feel like you're not living in this constant state of fear. So the first thing I will say above all else is get into your good word, get into the Bible. Um, if for those of you who don't have faith, you might need to go ahead and reach for a Bible yourself. Uh, the reason why I say that is because the enemy lives off of fear. The enemy loves to create an atmosphere of fear and will then from there loves to create the chaos that ensues from large quantities of people just being absolutely fearful of what's next. Um, especially with us going into a national emergency, the kind of power that they gives uh, President Trump, it probably is going to allow a lot more people to become even more fearful. You may see um, a lot more fights in stores now. I mean, I don't know if some of you've seen that online where there's like fights where people are fighting over toilet tissue. It's just allowing people to make 
really poor decisions in the midst of the fear instead of being anchored in something that is constant, being anchored in something that is tested, tried and true, which is, you know, the alpha and the omega. So definitely, if you do not have um, strong faith, if you are wavering in faith, if you do not know anything about God, about Jesus Christ being your savior, I'm telling you, this is about that time for you to pick up the good word and become very familiar with it. Uh, it will help you in understanding even what you're going through today, what we're seeing today, and um, really helping you kind of focus on other things other than just fear. Um, so with that being said, I'll jump into my number one of things you should be doing from the business standpoint and that is the first thing I want you guys to do is really continue making your weekly goals I gotta tell you so I am that's right mama of boss life planner I did not do a good job at filling out my planner today or this week at all I think I filled out Monday and Tuesday I did not journal I've just been in this constant state of like not feeling so hot um, there's been things that have been happening with the schools and you know it's just so I've been in this I have been in this state of worry and so I realized that when I needed to get some some uh, <laughs> some words of wisdom from the good Lord so once I did that I found that I was a little bit more calm having calming conversations around the facts around what's going on and then also asking myself like what are some of the things you're supposed to be doing like what are some of your weekly commitments that you have what are some of the virtual classes you're supposed to be teaching and really focusing on those things have helped me in really um, making sure that I'm not going too far off the grid but nonetheless I realized that I really slacked this week so one of the things I will encourage you all to do is to get back on making your weekly goals and if you've never made weekly goals child please do create some weekly goals number two continue to make your daily goals yesterday was a whole goalless day like I don't even really know what that's like in real life and I, I don't want to continue on like that like you just out here not really doing much you just out here not really making goals that are necessary for you to be successful like that is a failure so definitely I realize that that's something that I do not want to happen moving forward. Um, so that's really important to me. Um, with that, you know, really continue to focus on this thing where you are really trying to understand like, okay, each week this is what I want to be able to accomplish with my business. And then ask yourself, what are the goals each day that are going to help you reach those weekly goals? So get into that exercise to help you focus on being productive throughout your day as you navigate through this new normal. The third thing I want you to do is talk to your tribe. So there is a way that the coronavirus is impacting your business, believe it or not, for better or for worse. Have a conversation with your tribe. I'm having a conversation with you guys now. And just talk to them about what's going on with their business. How are you navigating this new normal? How can your business help them? Um, you know, I have a girlfriend who is an event planner. And so as you can imagine, people are completely rethinking should they have events. Conferences are being canceled left and right. Um, if she's hired for that conference and now she can't do it, what are some other things that she can do that will help connect with people using a virtual space? What are some things that she can do now? So maybe now she's going to be focusing more on content creation. Maybe she's focusing more on DIY and helping people figure out how to do DIYs because now people are really pushing off events if they are not doing it now then they're pushing it off to the summer so really take those this time to think about you know how can you talk to your tribe how can you connect with them how can you at this point even engage them to figure out how these change of events are even impacting their thoughts on how to utilize their services so definitely 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 think about how you can connect with your tribe once again if you are not having conversations with your people on a regular basis about how you your business can impact them regardless of this please allow this to be the wake up moment for you so that you can have these conversations and you can talk more and connect more i'm not saying use your opener as the coronavirus that's not what i'm saying at all i'm saying that this recent event this sad traumatic event 
is causing people to have a difference in their consumer behavior. If there is a change in their consumer behavior, that is overall going to impact your business. You need to connect with your consumers, i.e. your tribe, to further understand what that means. You need to understand how that impact impacts you, impacts them, and how can you just be a calming source or resource or fresh uh, a breath of fresh air for your people as they are navigating this new normal. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to figure out. But the sad part is for those of you who have not had constant conversation or ongoing conversations with your tribe, you are going to really struggle with how do I make this entry point because of the fact that this is something that you haven't been doing. But nonetheless, do not allow that to cause you to not take action. Allow this to be the catalyst that's going to drive you into action, all right? So the first thing we said so far was continue to make your weekly goals. The second thing we said is continue to make your daily goals. Third thing is I need you to talk to your tribe. The fourth thing I want you guys to do is to follow your industry and the market closely. And when I say follow the market closely, Please don't think I mean every two weeks follow the market. The market at this point is volatile, which means that it is changing every day. I believe that the Dow yesterday was down a thousand points, but lo and behold, the Dow and the NASDAQ are up, up, up. I think one's like a thousand and something, another one's like 2,000 and something points up today. So for instance, Yesterday, or this morning, I was talking to a close friend of mine and she said, oh, someone said you better go buy stock in Amazon. So because I trade stocks, I said, oh, let me go on and see how much the stocks are. So she was like, oh, because you know, when some people say, oh, you should buy stock in, it's like, it's just a saying, it's not an action. So the first thing I thought of was, hmm, if Amazon stock went low, I wonder how low, because right off the rip, like Amazon stocks like a thousand dollars a share. So I wonder how much did the Amazon stock go down because then I can buy a stock and then when it goes up, then I can sell it so I can see, you know, make some money because once again, it's volatile. So I don't want to stick around for the ups, the downs, ups and downs at a thousand dollars a share. So I go on and I look and I said, nah, Amazon stock didn't go down. That joint's at 1700. It's over $1,700 per share for the stock. I said, if anything, it increased. So now I'm like, well, I wonder what the market's doing because sometimes you can have stocks that are doing well if the market's not doing well uh, because the, the actual stock could be benefiting from whatever is making the market go down. So for instance, um, one of the things that uh, Trevor Noah had actually reported uh, on one of, his, one, of, one of his episodes was that although on one of the days when the, the market was doing really, really poor and lost a lot amount of, of, of points, um, they said that anything that has to do, or Trevor Noah stated that anything that has to do with being inside was actually faring really well. So the examples were the Peloton bike, uh, Netflix, anything that is inside, stay to yourself, be quarantined, do not go outdoors. Those were the things that were doing really well. So once again, just because uh, the market is not doing well, that doesn't mean that a particular company that is publicly traded isn't doing well. Um, so with that, look at some of the stocks that are in your industry. So there are products that you use if you are a hairstylist. There are different um I guess companies that you may use if you buy apparel and you are a boutique. So look to see like what are some of the things that you purchase and you use. If you are a service provider, there are certain apps or software that you buy. That app, the application may not be the name of the software company. So figure out what's the name of the software company. Look at that and if they're publicly traded, see if they're faring well. If they're not doing so well, or if your overall industry is seeing a decline. So for instance, if you are an event planner and you are used to doing large scale conferences, your industry is going to see a decline. It has seen a decline because people are canceling conferences. 
But if you are a therapist or if you are a transitional life coach, you may be doing really well because people are going to be experiencing high levels of anxiety during this time. But you have to watch the market and your industry closely because what's going to happen at some point, people are going to stop spending money and they're going to stockpile the money. Why? Because that is what happens when people are afraid that there is going to be a scarcity of a resource or a commodity. If you do not believe me, look at what happened with toilet tissue paper. For some reason, people believed that there was going to be a scarcity of the product, not thinking, oh, a lot of people are buying toilet tissue and maybe because they bought the toilet tissue and now This particular store's delivery day isn't until Wednesday, but I came on a Tuesday and they ran out of stock on Monday. You're going to believe it's the end of the world and that you need to buy thousands and thousands of toilet tissues, toilet tissue rolls, because of the fact that you didn't know when a delivery day was versus when they went out of stock, not taking into consideration supply and demand. So you know, when you take those things into consideration, then you're able to make smarter decisions. But unfortunately, it's the same thing. It's going to transfer from toilet tissue to, let's say, retail, from retail to, let's say, um, services. So at some point in time, people are going to say like, holy crap, I don't really know if I need to spend right now because of the fact that I need to focus on saving our money so we can pay these bills in the midst of a financial crisis. So these are all the things that you have to watch because just like any market, just like any market, like take away the coronavirus, take away all this, 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 this notion of being really, really scared and driving really interesting consumer behaviors in any market at any given time, there's ebbs and flows with how well your industry is doing, how well your market is doing, how well your business is doing. You will notice that you have high points and you have low points. High points, there is something driving the industry that can be externally facing, or there may be things that you're just doing really well to put the information in front of your targeted audience. But you have both external and internal factors that impact your business. So you have to know what those are anyway. Like anyway, I mean, if you spend no time understanding your business and you just kind of go willy nilly into the world, can you really wonder why you're not seeing a level of success that you uh, desire to have with your business? You are running a business and have no idea how it impacts the tribe that you say you represent or the tribe you say you're here to serve. So all of these things I'm telling you to do, these aren't just the things you should be doing now. These are things you should be doing now and you should be doing on going. So please guys, spend some time getting really, really comfy with some goals so that you can focus on how you're able to better slay in this new normal. I also want you to spend some time talking to your people, understanding how they feel, talking about still your business. Still talk about why you do what you do. Use this time and get cozy with your people. People are starting to become recluse because they are staying indoors. They are avoiding people. They are avoiding avoiding, uh, large kind of uh, places. So because of that, guess what I'm going to need you to do? I'm going to need you to then make the connection online. So go ahead and make those virtual remote connections with your tribe. And last but not least, please follow your industry and your market closely. You need to understand what is driving the consumer behavior within your market so that you understand how that's going to impact your business. So with that, I hope you guys are able to take these gems, use them during this time, and have a wonderful, awesome, and most of all, fabulous and blessed day. Bye.